Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of VGC Prep. Now there's two things that I need to get out of the way before we start this episode. The first of which is that this is going to be post-com because Camtasia keeps screwing around with me and I'm starting to really get ticked off. You know, I was working for, for a really long time and now it's not working and I just don't know what to do. Um, secondly, uh, we will be... Uh, doing this on showdown because when i first recorded this episode i did uh it was during monday and for some odd reason nintendo likes to work on the gts in the middle of the afternoon when most people will be using the, the gts so it's interesting that they chose that time either way long story short it's showdown and postcom uh there may or may not be webcam because this is probably maybe my fifth time trying to do this I've switched out webcams as well and nothing seems to be changing the problem so I am getting really ticked off um, but yeah so team I'm bringing if you guys haven't seen this yet I don't know if I've used this on an episode or yet um, this is a team that I made based around shuckle and it, it moves away from the the necessity of trick room and it moves away from the necessity of sand um, it just basically focuses on resistances and weaknesses for the most part. Um, everything on the team has a specific purpose and type that they're used to resist. Um, and the coverage there is pretty useful. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll be quite honest with you. At the time of filming this, I was not too sure about Wigglytuff. It's really not that useful. Um, it's very situational with the competitive. Now, granted, most teams have an Intimidator. I mean, I have an Intimidator. Most teams I battle have an Intimidator. But um, when they see your Wigglytuff, it's almost like you're running a Bisharp. They don't want to bring the Intimidator because they know they're just gonna screw. They're just gonna screw themselves over. So, all I know is that Wigglytuff is so situational. And if you can't get that competitive boost, it doesn't do very much damage. It really doesn't. And even with the competitive boost, it only has a base 85 special attack. So it really doesn't even hit that hard to begin with. Now this team. Now we've got Venusaur, Politoed, Scizor, Meowstic, Scrafty, and Kingdra. Now my team, uh, Wigglytuff hits five out of the six types super effectively. Doesn't hit Meowstic super effectively, but Meowstic's a very supportive Pokemon, so I don't have to really worry about that. Um, the other problem with this team is that even though I hit Venusaur and Scizor super effectively, they can hit me back faster super effectively. So I need something that I can bring that can counter both of those two Pokemon, as well as handling the Meowstic. You know, I like to put myself in very strong lead positions. So I'm going to bring in Wigglytuff because it hits everything, everything on his team super effectively, and maybe I can get a jump on him. So then I'm thinking, well, what can handle the Scizor and what can handle the Venusaur? Uh, not much on my team, to be quite honest. I don't want to get sleeped. So, um, sleeped. I don't want to get put to sleep. So, my best option, I think, is Slowbro. I can get the Trick Room up because they're most likely want to. I don't know. Um, I don't, I doubt he'll start with Venusaur and Scizor. So, as long as he doesn't start with Venusaur, I'm good. I bring Mawile in the back because it can handle both Venusaur and Scizor. It's, spe it's its specific purpose. It doesn't hit either of them super effectively, but it can take their attacks. And then Rotomo in the back. So, he starts off with Scrafty and Venusaur. And I'm thinking, well, he's going to fake me out. But I know I can survive the, uh,. Sludge Bomb from Venusaur. I've ha it's happened before to me. I have a video. I have a video on this channel of me actually doing hitting a, a Wigglytuff with a Venusaur and not KOing and being very surprised that I didn't. Um, so I know I, it won't KO me. So I'm thinking, well, I have the plus two. That's awesome, right? But they're gonna double attack me because I have the plus two. So I'm thinking. Maybe, excuse me, maybe I should switch out. You know, my Mawile is clearly here to take those attacks, but I don't. I'm like, I'm going to be risky, and it doesn't, it pays off, except I get poisoned. So if, if it wasn't for that poison, it would have really paid off, and I'll be honest with you, it would have paid off, but I don't like playing risky, and I don't know why I played risky. You know, it didn't make sense to me. So I'm going to bring in my, my Mawile, and, um, 
This graft is not staying in. There's no way. It doesn't really get priority, and even if it did, its priority wouldn't be enough to take us out. And our player off will take it out no matter what. So I decide I'm going to double attack this Venusaur. Um, and, you know, I went back because I wasn't sure if I hit Iron Head or the right Pokemon. I'm going to double attack the Venusaur. That's my best bet. That's how I'm going to do it. But he protects, and I'm like, great, great. That was so obvious. Why did I do that? I don't know. So I'm thinking, what's Scissor going to do? It does have super effective moves against my Slowbro, but I am physically defensive, so I don't really worry too much about that. So I'm just going to let the Scissor do whatever it wants, and I'm going to double attack the Venusaur again. I doubt he's going to want to bring in the Scrafty. There's no way. Why would he? You know, I, I, I still outspeed. Um, he has nothing currently on the field to take out my Mawile. But he brings in Scrafty. I'm like, why? I know you get a negative one, but I have huge power. I have huge power, you're still gonna die. <laughs> um, I mean, look at how much that Iron Head did at negative one. That's ridiculous. So, I'm thinking, I'm just gonna play rough it. But then I'm like, well, that's obvious. He's gonna protect or something. Um, you know, I'm considering what to do, what to do. Um, I definitely, I was consider. I go for play rough. And yeah, I go for player off and protect to take another hit from Scissor, but I forgot about Fake Out. You know, this really just was not a good mo match for me. Um, keeping Wigglytuff in in the very beginning was really, really dumb. Um, and the sole reason of bringing Mawile was to take that Sludge Bomb from Venusaur. Like, I don't, I don't know why I didn't do that, you know? That was the exact reason. I, I guess the, the plus two that I thought I'd never be able to get again was gonna was important but I guess I didn't think ahead of the time where Mawile will force the Scrafty out like no doubt about it <laughs> why would the Scrafty stay in in Trick Room against the Maw I don't know it's just it was a stupid stupid play so I go for the Iron Head on the Scissor and he's just completely outplaying me um, I deserve it I'm not playing very well so now I'm like Iron Head Scizor, because he's not going to keep the Scrafty in. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp the Scrafty, just in case he does. Because I'm still not too worried about the Scrafty. I'm not too worried about his Pokemon, you know. I, Other than, you know, maybe... Well, with the Mawile, I can probably handle most of his team. Um, so I, I burn the Scrafty, but he has Lumberry. Um, and he Ice Punches me, but even without the burn, it's only a 3-hit KO. So I'm really not too worried about that. So looking at the damage that Iron Head did, I thought in my mind that an Iron Head and Will-O-Wisp combination would be enough to take out the Venusaur. So I'm going to do that. Um, I was considering burning the Scrafty, but I'm like, the Scrafty 3 hit KOs us. I'm just going to go for the, the Will-O-Wisp on Venusaur. Um, it's my best play. It really is. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that a burn plus an Iron Head will take it out. But I missed the Will-O-Wisp. <laughs> I'm like, no... And then he gets the Leech Seed off, and I was considering, you know, maybe Leech Seed happens before Burn, in which case I wouldn't have been able to take him out, but if it didn't, then blech. So I go for the Burn on the Scizor, and I go for another Iron Head on the Venusaur. But uh, he is going to protect. I am going to get the Burn off, thankfully. Uh, he goes for the U-Turn, which brings me down pretty far. But, um... Oh well. <laughs> so in comes Scrafty. I'm now at negative 2 with my Mawile. And this Venusaur is not going down. Um, so I have to switch out my Mawile. Uh, his team, other than the Dark type from Scrafty, doesn't really s scare my Slowbro. Although it really does, because I just realized Venus was a Grass type. Um, and then I'm going to protect with Rotom, because the fake out's pretty obvious. So in comes the Politoed. I'm like, oh, that's not too bad. I think I can I can handle this Politoed. Um, he does fake out the Rotomo like I thought. So that, that was a relatively good, good turn for me. Uh, I'm going to Scald the uh, Scrafty. I was considering Trick Room, but and I was just like, there's really no, it's not worth it. Um, so I took all the Scrafty, and I was going to go for Leaf Storm on the Politoed, but I didn't want to lose Special Attack this late in the game. Um, however, had I gone for the Leaf Storm, I'm pretty sure that Politoed would have been dead. Um, I, I have actually no doubts about it. That was a Wakan Berry that he had, um, and that still did 40% to him with the, the, the damage reduction. So consider that with... The, what 140 base power leaf storm yeah i think i would have been able to take him out i go for sucker punch on the polyto but he sees that coming goes for quick guard which is really unfortunate he crits me but i really don't think that matters it probably would have ko'd me anyway so now it's just slow bro versus the world and well i ain't got nothing for him 
I scald the Scrafty to hopefully take it out, but nope, in comes Venusaur. Best play. Really good play for him. Uh, but we do wake up, uh, but we don't do enough damage to take him out, and I was thinking, Psychic, yay, but he takes me out. There's no way I'm going to survive that. No way, no way, no way. So, of course, he wins. Uh, I, that, that that first turn was such a so, so dreadful. But uh, we're going to go f straight into another battle. We're going to redeem ourselves, hopefully. Um, I, we just need to redeem ourselves from that battle. That battle just screwed us over. And it really is starting to make me think that Wigglytuff isn't worth it. I mean, it does take attacks decently well. Um, it did take the Sludge Bomb and the f Fake Out, but whatever. So let's look at this guy's team. Now, he's got Lucario, Dragonite, Mamoswine, Scrafty, Gardevoir, and Manectric. Now, for the most part, you know, um, the first four from the left are hit super effectively by our Wigglytuff. So Wigglytuff is going to be a very obvious choice. Now, I don't really have anything solid for the Gardevoir or the Manectric. Um, Garchomp is actually pretty good against the Manectric, um, since it is bulky. HP Ice doesn't have a chance to one-hit KO me. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't think of something good to bring to this team. It's a very diverse team that covers a lot of ground. But, um, I know I want to bring Mawile. No, not Mawile. That was last battle. So I bring Shuckle. And here's my reasoning. Whenever I don't know what to do, I bring Shuckle. Shuckle is not one-hit KO'd by anything on his team. Maybe Mega Lucario. I... I don't doubt that, but that's that's the best play, you know. So I bring in Shuckle and Wigglytuff, and like he's and I also brought Slowbro and Mawile in the back. I'm thinking he's not gonna intimidate because I'm gonna get the uh, competitive boost, but I'm gonna go for Hyper Voice anyway, just to get damage off, and I'm gonna go for Shell Smash so I can uh, nullify the damage of the next turn. Like, yeah, the next turn because I'm most likely going last. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm thinking that's my best bet. Hyper Voice won't do a lot of damage. Maybe, just maybe, he'll um, Mega Evolve. But I don't really have a safe switch in to this Manectric right now. So, we'll see. We'll see. I didn't bring Garchomp, so. And even then, I wouldn't be able to switch in Garchomp because of the Mammoth Swine. But he does, he, he does Mega Evolve. Intimidate goes off. I get plus two special attack. And then the Vol Switch does 30%. And I'm like... It's a lot more than I thought it would do. Um, maybe I just think too highly of Wigglytuff at the time, but that kind of made me think, why would I want to use Wigglytuff when I can't even take a Volt Switch? If I go for the Hyper Voice, it does a lot, but not enough to that Dragonite, and I get the Shell Smash off. So I'm thinking, I'm at plus two. He's going to try and take down this Wigglytuff. Both his Pokemon are most likely physical. I'm going to bring in Slowbro. Slowbro's my best bet. Uh, he's got nothing for my Slowbro. Right now, on the field at least. I mean, the Manectric in the back will be able to handle my Slowbro. Um, and then I'm thinking Toxic, Infestation. I'm going to infest this Dragonite just, you know, so it can't leave and I can get as much damage off as I can possibly can this turn. Um, considering, you know, I don't want to hit him with the Dazzling Gleam if I did choose to stay in because he might have Weakness Policy. He does go for Dragon Dance. You know, I'm thinking he is Weakness Policy. I think he was baiting that, um, although with the multi-scale broken, I, I don't know. Uh, so I go for the Toxic on the Dragonite and get a Trick Room up, because at this point I really don't think his team can hit me very hard. So um, yeah, I'm going to go for the Trick Room Toxic. I want to get as much damage off on this Dragon as I can before I can you know, outspeed it and stuff. It goes for the Fire Punch on my Shuckle, which was like, alright, cool, I'll take it. I get the Toxic off, so next at the end of this turn, he's going to get so much residual damage. Um, so now I'm thinking, okay, I'm going to take out this uh, Mammoth Swine with Scald, uh, and I'm going to go for another Shell Smash so I can take another hit from Dragonite. Uh, he switches in the Gardevoir, which isn't too bad, but he extreme speeds me and almost kills me. I'm thinking, oh god, that's, that's not good. This is going to be a problem. Um, however, after next turn, I hope, you know, he's going to go down. I do crit the Gardevoir, but to be quite honest with my Shuckle at where it is, it's not going to be able to take me down anyway. Uh, I go for Protect to, because I know the Extreme Speed's coming my way. Um, and then I'm debating between Toxic and Infestation on Gardevoir. Um, but I actually am going to choose Infestation, because Infestation doesn't have such a... It's 100% accurate, so... 
I protect. He does go for the extreme speed, so Drag Knight's going down this turn, um, and I infest the Gardevoir. He does end up burning my Shuckle, which really isn't the pro a problem at all. Um, reason being, I have rest. So, Dragon Knight goes down. That's the biggest threat on his team currently. Um, so, whatever he brings in, you know, he brings in the Manic Trick. And I'm like, alright, well, I don't really have a safe switch in here, especially considering how much damage Wigglytuff takes. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to go for a Psychic on the Manic Trick to see how much it does. Um, and I'm going to rest with my Shuckle to get the, rid of this burn, because I'm sure after a couple more hits, I won't be able to survive and get the rest off. Um, so we sh actually Shadow Balls my um, Slowbro, and, and the Psychic did a lot of damage, about 60%. But uh, Gardevoir is going to slowly go down. I'm considering... I'm going to bring in Mawile. Um, I think it's my best bet. So now, I'm because I didn't really think Wigglytuff would do very much right now. So I'm thinking, okay, I can Iron Head the Gardevoir, but the Gardevoir can't really do much to my team, and I can't switch out. The only thing he can switch out into is a Mammal Swine, so even if he were to switch out the Gardevoir, he wouldn't switch out into the Mammal Swine. I'm going to Iron Head the Manac Trick. Here's my reasoning. I know it's I know it's resisted, but I'm a Mawile. I'm a Mega Mawile. I think it can take it out. I have some slight reservations, but I'm pretty sure it will. Um, I'm pretty sure. So then I go for a Toxic onto the Gardevoir in case I wake up and want to get that, you know, residual damage going. I'm thinking, you know, maybe next turn Gardevoir will die. So, without being able to do very much damage to us. So, even if he switches out his man trick, the, the Mammal Swine's gonna die because I'm Iron Heading. So, yeah, the Mammal Swine goes down. And that's actually a pretty good play on his part because the Mammal Swine at this point really can't do much. Um, it does have the super effective Earthquake, but he does get that chance to get the burn off because he kind of, I guess he kind of figured that his man trick was the bigger threat. And it really was. So. He brings in the man actually so now I'm at negative three with my Mawile, so I don't think I can take anything out, but I'm going to go for a Sucker Punch anyway, um, and I'm going to go for an Infestation on the man actually because I don't want Toxic to miss, just in case they wake up. And that's my best play. Um, Trick Room's gone, so I Sucker Punch. I get a crit. I don't think it really mattered. I'll be quite honest with you, because man actually and Gardevoir can't really do very much to my Shuckle. Uh, granted, I am still sleeping, so who knows? Uh, and no matter what happens this turn... I'm gonna take him out. So, yeah, um, I played a lot better this match. Um, <laughs> very much better. <laughs> uh, and I'm getting rid of Wigglytuff. He's already gone on my team. I tested him out on the on the stream that I had last or yeah last night. Um, or I don't know. Days are confusing. And. So I have a replacement for that, and once I breed up this team, you'll probably see that. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you at the next video. Peace.